it's me, Chris, with Pa's Lifestyle. I know it's been a while, and I do apologize. I have a lot of videos scheduled for you that I was working on. It has been a rough couple weeks, and I'm about to tell you why. So, um, maybe in, goodness, like, January, February, March, April. April 25th, I went for my first corona shot, so which means a month later, on May 25th, I went for my second corona shot. And let me tell you, those two experiences were so different. The first time I got my corona shot, I was worried because I'm living with HIV. I didn't know what to expect. I thought I would have flu-like symptoms and all that extra stuff. But it didn't happen. I was fine. Even the next day, I went to my pole dancing classes and everything was beautiful. However, this last second shot, which you're supposed to do 30 days later, was a B-I-T-C-H. Let's just say that. The first day I got it, my arm hurt a little. I was still able to work out and go to my pole class, which was awesome. But then the second day, the day right after, I got out of bed and my whole body just hurt. I think I threw up once. My throat was like killing me. Um, I had a cough and I felt like, God, I felt like I had a flu, even though I've never had a flu. I've never had a reaction like that to even a flu shot. And I've been getting my flu shot for years. It was just such a crazy different experience compared to the first one. Like that second shot really knocked me on my ass. I could not do anything. It was hard to get out of bed. It was hard to get out and do my work to clean. And then... The next, I went to bed because my doctor pretty much recommended me to sleep all day to sleep through the symptoms. And I woke up and the next day, it was like it never happened. Like, I wasn't sick. Like, it was just all in my head. It was crazy. <laughs> it was quite an experience. So, this is the second video to the corona vaccine. I am living with HIV. I was scared my first time. And I will say the second time, like, really threw me off. Even though the doctor said the second one can knock you on your ass. I was kind of like, holy shit, in my head about it, in my head about my HIV. But in the end, it was okay. It didn't affect anything. I am here. I am alive. It did kind of throw me off a little bit. Um, but now we're getting back into it. So if you haven't gotten your corona shot, um, I guess that's up to you and your doctor. I can't tell you what to do. I did it personally because I want to travel more. And unfortunately, you needed to travel. And I want to protect myself, my family, and others. I really didn't want to do it because it's so recent. But unfortunately, you have to make sacrifices to live the life you want. And I want to do a lot of traveling. And I want to protect the people I love. So if you can, feel free to take that corona vaccine. It will not affect you, your antiretroviral medicine medications your hiv or anything i will say the second dose kind of was like holy shit but you will be okay thank you for watching again i apologize so much for the long wait for these videos but got some good content for you Alrighty, take care stay safe if you're not vaccinated please wear a mask and consider getting vaccinated i know it's a hard sell and i'm not telling you to go do it just weigh the pros and cons if it was up to me I would not have done it, but I needed to in order to do traveling for work and stuff. So, you know, but take care. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for watching and listening, and I'll see you next time. This is Chris with Pa's Lifestyle. Thank you.